Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weekly reset video. My name is Story and today is August 25th, which means only one thing, we're running up until September the 1st, because that's how things go around here. Can you believe how fast the time to fly? But anyway, what have we got to do in Destiny 2 this week? Well, let's have a look then, shall we? If you're new to the game, welcome. Come on in, pull up a pew and pour yourself a piping hot brew. This is the tower map. The reason why we have a shifty at this is because it's full of these little icons. Look, look at that. It's so small and lovely and shiny. And that represents Vendor. A Vendor is basically one of your best friends in Destiny 2. And it was in Destiny 1 as well. It's a tradition. Uh, they give you quests, challenges, um, all kinds of wonderful things, bounties. For example, if we have a look at the gunsmith here, he's got a weekly challenge, eight bounties, done will award you some powerful gear at tier one isn't that fantastic that's what we live for that powerful loot and our gear comes in a variety of tiers tier one two and three and then pinnacle stuff pinnacle being the highest possible power available to you at this current time so there you go there are various other vendors of course as well we've got our live fire exercises weekly challenge exercises if i could english live fire weekly exercises vendor challenge from uh, Shax here. Eight bounties complete. Powerful gear at tier one. Same with the Vanguard. The lovely man with the steely blue eyes. And then we've got the Drifter over here as well. Bounties of. And then don't forget. Means to an end quests completed. We'll get you some pinnacle loot. As well as the Prophecy Dungeon. Pinnacle loot for that as well. And um, if you're a member of a clan. Uh, and 5,000 XP for your character. That will get you some powerful gear at tier two. Can you imagine it? Can you believe it? Anyway, moving on. We're going to go to uh, the Vanguard playlist here. That is your map screen, uh, by the way. And uh, you've got four items on the menu here in the Vanguard playlist. We've got daily heroic story missions. You can replay the most favorited uh, missions from the previous campaigns. But the meat and veg starts at the Vanguard Strikes playlist. You can get some, yourself some pinnacle gear from uh, completing strikes using the same subclass element as the currently active element will burn. If you want to check out what that means... There it is, Arc Sin. So this week, equip your Arc character and hop in and do three strikes without switching off your Arc character and bomb Pinnacle gear in your pocket. Next up, we've got the Nightfall, the Ordeal, which happens to be this week, the Garden World. So get your best uh, gloves on and your trowels and your wheelbarrows and run three of these ordeals and you get yourself some powerful gear at Tier 1. Happen to run it uh, and get a team score above 100,000 points, and that'll get you some pinnacle loot. Can you imagine it? Good. I hope so. Then you've got the normal Nightfall playlist here, consisting of three Nightfalls to choose from. This week, we've got Strange ter Terrain, Will of the Thousands, and Brood Hold. Two of these strikes have some specific loot that if you happeneth to grindeth said striketh over and over again, then you'll have increased chances of getting this specific loot. Now, Strange Terrain houses the Braytech Osprey Rocket Launcher, and Will of the Thousands has got a transmat effect, Worm God Incarnation. So there you go. That is your business for the Vanguard playlist this week. We're going to move on right now to Gambit, which consists of a little bit of PvE, the Reckoning. It's still there. Look, tier, uh, there's one, two, and three, um, a variety of different tiers to taste the flavors. And we've got Arc Singe for the Reckoning this week as well. Then we've got Gambit itself. Gambit Vanilla and Gambit Deluxe. Three matches of either or of this playlist will get you some pinnacle loot. And that will make you very happy indeed. There's also private matches. If you want to see which members of the family can take down the primeval first. Anyway, what about Crucible? Well, there's two types of playlists in the Crucible to be aware of. We've got our rotator matches at the top. Well, this week, it's consisting of Mayhem and Breakthrough. Okay, so we've got a 6v6 crazy increased super regeneration and ability regeneration business, as well as a 4v4 competitive style game mode. Four matches completed. We'll get you some powerful gear at tier one in either or of the rotator playlists. Then we have the core playlists, which consists of rumble, control, elimination, survival, freelance survival, and classic mix. Four games completed in the core. Match playlist will get you some pinnacle loot. And of course, if you want a 1v1, you nan, get her into a private match. See how good her spare ration skills are. Anyway, what else is there to do in Destiny uh, this week? We've got the Flashpoint on. 
Titan. Let's have a look at it. What's a Flashpoint? Well, wait for public events to spawn. It's the total law of the sod that uh, there's none at the moment for me to point out. But whenever a public event spawns, go do it and watch this progress bar with the lovely Sloan here um, go upwards towards 100%. Once it reaches 100%, you'll get some powerful gear at Tier 1. Mm, so the Flashpoint is on Tyson this week. What else is there? Well, on the moon, there's plenty activities. We've got Nightmare Hunts. Uh, for example, if you complete three of these Nightmare Hunts, you'll get some powerful gear at Tier 1. And then the completing a Nightmare Hunt on Master difficulty will get yourself some Pinnacle Loot. Speaking of Pinnacle Loot, you can also get some from the Pit of Heresy Dungeon and of also the Garden of Salivation Raid as well. The uh, vendors will offer you some business here. We'll have a look at that one first. The memory quest completed will get you some powerful gear at tier one. And then if you hop on over into the Soros Harbor and defeat 30 nightmares, you'll get some powerful gear at tier one. This is uh, Altars of Sorrow. So go here and then go here, defeat the nightmares and um, get all the way to the end wave altar boss. And depending on what boss it is, will depend on what weapon will drop. You've got a sniper rifle to choose from, a kinetic slug shotgun, and a rocket launcher. How's about that then? I can hear you screaming with joy. But anyway, there we go. That's the stuff on the moon. The Dreaming City this week, uh, week one is the curse week, and the Ascendant Challenge is on Gardens of Essela. Don't forget to run over to Petrovenge and get your bounties first. If you're interested in Escalation Protocol on Mars, uh, this week it happens to be the shotgun dropping so if you needed that in your collections then this is the week to farm for the shotgun can you believe it anyway what we're going to do now is hop on over to one of our favorite vendors the gunsmith and just run through the bounty system for our uh, newcomers to the game as we like to do because we cater for everybody here we've got weekly bounties two of daily bounties four of and then some additional bounties and you can have an unlimited amount of additional bounties it doesn't matter what vendor you happen to procure these bounties from you can keep going back to grab additional bounties as much as you like as long as you've got the glimmer basically but anyway weekly bounties award xp glimmer an upgrade module which is very important for upgrading your equipment and uh, we've got some planetary resources as well then there's the daily bounties which once completed will give you mod components and enhancement cores again two very nice components for uh, upgrading stuff and you will need those you can spend your mod components on mods <laughs> isn't that um convenient anyway these mods rotate on a daily reset so if you're not after these or if you're not interested in these they will uh, rotate in 24 hours time so come back but anyway for this week uh, for today rather we've got quick charge that's an armor mod and then minor spec for your weapon mod there's also some material exchanges here uh, that you can get into if you're rich enough but we'd like to explain uh, other bounties as well. We do love to explain other bounties because if we hop on over to uh, Lord Shax here, the Crucible Handler, his weekly bounties, amongst awarding various ranking points and uh, Crucible tokens, will get you some bright dust. The additional bounties don't award any bright dust, but oh, the additional bounties do, sorry, but the dailies don't. There you go. So if you're after some bright dust farmings, then uh, the Crucible, uh, Vanguard, and the Drifter. All of his weeklies and additionals will get you some bright dust, and bright dust can be spent in the uh, wonderful um, Eververse store if you're after cosmetic items, for example. Now, look at all this glorious stuff. Now, you could either spend your hard-earned peanut, real money, and trade it in for some silver. That's uh, the main currency. Or you can farm your um, bright dust and spend it on various cosmetics in the game that way as well. So some stuff is only available for silver, but it is a very small minority of all the things on offer. But anyway, the weekly offerings featured this week are Ira's Grace. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to go with that. That's um, an exotic sparrow, and boy, is it shiny. Have a look at that then. Then we've got the Intimidating Snap. Mmm, that is intimidating. I wouldn't like to wake up to that. And then we've got the Summertide Kite. That's an old ship but it's nice nonetheless. Then there's the Spelunking Shell. If you fancied a bit of that, look, the perks on that are Treasure Hunter and Speed Demon. Then we've got shock Shocking Entrance. That is definitely the one that I'd have for my Warlock, being a bit of a Stormcaller main. And then when, on, this is the um, exotic stuff that you'll get on a daily basis. So this changes every day, this little tab down here. And uh, today it's the Sanctum Plate Shell. 
There it is, look, in all of its glory. Then there is some uh, featured stuff for Bright Dust, a bunch of consumables. There's the sweltering heat emote with a remote fan there. We've got the catching rays. If you want to sun your neck beard after putting on your deal with its shades, there you go. Crisp up your neck beard. And then there is a flamingo projection there for your ghosts. Oiled algae. I don't think I have that, so I'm going to get that. That's a shader. That's one of the special Eververse ones. Anyway, moving on, we've got the summer, summer solstice, solstice of heroes. That's still active. So you can buy your solstice bundles and all this kind of business. This is the, the, the glowing effects for, for stuff. Oh, wait, then it's a universal ornament as well. I didn't realize that you could actually get, you could buy the ornaments. But there you go. Isn't that nice? Um, so there we go. There it is. There's lots of stuff for you to choose from. Emotes, weapon ornaments, ghost shells, sparrows, ships. You name it, they've got it. You can browse that at your own leisure. Uh, but items will become unavailable for purchase after the event. Then there is uh, the seasonal stuff. So all the uh, ornaments and finishers and cosmetic business for the season is still there. Uh, again, items may become unavailable for purchase after the season ends. If they are still available, they'll end up here in the archive. So this is all the previous cosmetics from um, previous seasons, basically. And uh, you can peruse it at your leisure. Here is the meat and veg, though, bright dust section. Uh, this week, we've got the micro mini. Isn't that adorable? Then we've got the edge of worlds um, ship. Why can't you rotate that one, eh? And then there's the silly handshake. For uh, people that love to do that kind of thing. Let's do it again. <laughs> Amazing. And then there is the flick of the wrist. Extra special stuff there. And then we've got on gilt wings. Nice. Isn't that clean and tidy? Digital ops, weapon ornament for the meter, meter, mighty multimeter, as it's so uh, often called. And then there is the triumphant projection for your ghost. And it, boy, is it triumphant. We've also got lots of flair. There's transmat effects and uh, ghost projections and stuff. And you consumables. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up the weekly reset from 25th of August to the 1st of September. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic week in Destiny 2. And that you're keeping yourself safe from awful things happening within the world. So uh, there you go. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And remember... Smoke me a kipper. We'll be back for breakfast.